welcome to the Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jackie Harris and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. My choice of soap today is going to be from Phoenix and Bell and this is Imperial Rum. Imperial Rum is, as you would expect, a Bay Rum forward scent. However, this is different to pretty much any Bay Rum scent I've, had, I've smelled. I'd say the lime in this, so the, the notes on this are Bay, Spice and Lime. They always make it quite simple on the front so people understand the gist of the scent. But there's definitely bay, there's definitely a bit of spice. It's not really forward, but there's a whole lot of lime. It's really nice and pleasant. And frankly, this is, in my opinion, the best label in traditional wet shaving. Look at this. I want you to look at that sheen though. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's so badass. Like that, this is like a diff, the, the octopus you see here is like a completely different color. It's almost like metallic gold. They, they have such fantastic label design. Um, yeah, really one of the best. My razor of choice today is gonna be my home-like start razor. Um, I'm using the Repairer Platinum I used in the last uh, DE shave I had. Um, that would be on its second use. My brush is gonna be my, I have a synthetic that I wanna use today, which is my turn and shave 26 mil tuxedo. It looks way smaller than 26 mil because he kind of has quite a low loft on these. So they don't splay too easily. Yeah, so let's uh, get the brush wet. We'll get to loading up our brush and uh, get to shaving. So this is gonna be my last video of the week. Uh, I've been taking weekends off predominantly. So I'm looking forward to bringing you some new stuff next week. I have quite a lot of new soaps, frankly, so there's gonna be new stuff on the channel for a pretty consistent amount of time. I've got another good razor on the way, so you're gonna see that too. Matt. I forgot, to, I, I like to overload this base a little bit. It doesn't take quite the amount of water that I like. So if you overload, it will, <laughs> frankly, because it needs a lot of water. So what we're gonna do here, dip, and then pick some up. So if that'll do. Absolutely tons of proto leather in there. Okay, let's take the glasses off. Let's hit the brush and then uh, <laughs> wet the face. This is a lovely scent. Lovely. Loads of Proto Lather, as you can see, so we're gonna get that on the face. Oh, this is a lovely scent. There's no point in wasting it, frankly, so. Good scent strength on this. I maybe, I'd say about five or a six. It's definitely present. You don't want Bay too strong because, especially if there's some spices in here that they've used to scent that can irritate skin pretty easily. So it's important to be quite subtle with the spices, and they have. There's actually tons of fucking pro lather. That'll do. Just kind of uh, rinse the top of the soap here, get rid of all the residual soap. And then all I do for now is I put it upside down on the side of my sink. Cool. Let's get to lather in here. This is in their old soap base. They've not released Sovereign yet. I think they're gonna release Sovereign within the next couple of months, maybe. And I really look forward to that because I think Sovereign's very good. Man. That's a lovely scent. That's a really nice base scent. It's 
It's coming together nicely. This is a very easy base to work with in my experience. Not finicky, just gets the job done. In terms of quality, I put this up on par with sterling. Which is a very good sell. So, by virtue of that, so is this. It's growing. Okay, I think we're where we want to be in terms of volume. Let's work on getting a little bit more hydration into it. So all I do here, I'm gonna draw the lines. I don't see the point in wasting lather, I'm putting it down the sink. So I paint it back onto my brush and we use it. Because all this lather here has been built on my face, you know, I don't, I don't really want to waste that. So we're going to paint this lather on. Cool, okay, now we're going to Paint a little bit of water and we don't need too much with this soap. Just a bit more. And a little bit more again. Okay, I think we're good. Bring in lather everywhere, why not? Cool, okay. Study up a bit here and uh, we get to shaving. Start razor, 0 0.90 with the repair of Platinum Lux. This razor is so good, it's just so smooth. Easily one of the smoothest razors I own. Man. I've been enjoying uh some different YouTube videos lately. I've been enjoying Dave Card, who is a straight razor slash shave out shaver. Very good. For me, even if he's not giving info, his style of shaving helps me quite a bit. I mean, this base is three years old, I think. 2016, I mean, look. It's still very good. The residual slickness on this is remarkable. It's very, very good. 
I, I like this bag. Very nice, okay. Pass one done really quick. Let's get to pass two. Helps that the razor is so smooth. It's, for me, it's alongside the carve is the smoothest razors I own, but easily as well. And the Tatara, they're all up there. It goes to show like pretty much whatever you buy now is of high quality because I'd be happy with this being my only soap, you know? And it's not in that tier where you consider the best. But the performance is still <laughs> way more than you're ever gonna need. So let's go cross grain here. Very smooth. This raise is very easy to use. The angle is intuitive. It has minimal blade fill. It just, the way I would describe it, it just feels safe. So that, my friends, listen. That sound is no blade chatter. That whew, whew. And there's two reasons for that with this razor. Good blade clamping. And minimal blade exposure. It's much, much harder to make a razor with positive blade exposure, have no have no blade chatter at all. In my experience, most razors with positive blade exposure have a little bit of chatter because it's so hard to keep control of that blade, kind of at that end. Let's do a cleanup pass and we're we'll good. This has been a good quick shave. Um, Because we've shaved with no nonsense products, just things that just work. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, let's get the loose soap. That's gonna be a bit of it. As always, guys, let me uh, get this on the face. Oh, that scent. Let me get this on the face. This is my. Up there with my favorite Bay Rums. Probably this and the Barrister and Man Bay Rum I really love. Um, uh, Nomad. Uh, Singari's Nomad. For me, this is just subtle enough on the spices. But I really like it. The thing I love about the Barrister and Man's Bay Rum is that um, orange note in it. It's really nice. Okay. Rinse the face, clean the gear. See for post shave. I'll be right back. Hey guys, it's a potion of time. I actually forgot to go upwards, so we're gonna do that now. There's still like plenty of moisture on my skin, so not bad. That's actually a really nice potion. Again, it reminds me very much of a Sterling, I mean, Nixon Bow. It's about in the same level of quality, which is very high. Um, as I always say, more than you're ever gonna need. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Phoenix and Bow aftershave splash. Again, look at that fucking label. That shine on that octopus is just so cool. Um, 
going to use that and we're going to use a bit of a, a splash of the rescue potion as well. So get a good amount of that out because I love this scent. Then we're going to get Zingari's rescue potion here. One squirt. That'll generally do. Mix that up. A little bit of alcohol burn. Nothing too bad. Fantastic. Well, that is our shave today, guys. Um, like I said, I do take weekends off, so my next video will be on Monday. I don't quite know I'm going to use that, but uh, it'll be something you've probably not seen from me before. Let me go over all my gear and I'll let you guys go. So I use Imperial Rum by Phoenix and Bow. One of my favorite Bay Rum scents. It's very, it's not like really spicy, which I like. Um, good amount of Bay, good amount of Lime, little bit of spice, really nice. One of my favorites. My razor of choice was up there with the car for me. Uh, Home Like Start razor from Russia, 0 0.90 uh, base plate. Repair a Platinum Lux, I'm gonna buy some more of those. I really like that blade. My brush was my turn and shave tuxedo knot. Uh, this is a 26 mm knob, like I said, it's set very low. Uh, turn and shave coin there, I think it's the right way around. I don't think it is, I can't see. There it is. Um, that's his coin, great brush, really like that synthetic. And for my post, I used three big splashes of Phoenix and Bow Imperial Rum Splash. And I used one squirt of the Singari Man Rescue Potion. Basically what the Rescue Potion is, is it's a myriad of oils that's, that lends to good skin health. Uh, pretty much the feeling on my skin now is if I used a very, very high-end aftershave, high-end balm, it's an outstanding product. There's a few like it, good oleo is like it. There's, there's quite a few, but yeah, fantastic products. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. I've had a very good shave. Um, can't complain about the results of that shave. Good products all round. Happy to use any of them again. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video today. Um, check out the Razorbone podcast. Links in the description below. I I do the Razorbone podcast with uh, my co-host Heather Melton of Singari Man. I really enjoy doing it. It's good fun. Yeah, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Groom Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful weekend. And goodbye for now.